Welcome to our seventh edition of Behind the News with Pia Jyoti, where in around five minutes, we go deep, we go wide and go behind a current event or topic of high interest. Today, we'll look at organic versus inorganic. Is it a fad or is it a reality? What is the key difference between organic versus inorganic food? Well, it's about how the food is produced Organic foods like vegetables, fruits, eggs, milk, meat are grown without synthetic pesticides and fertilizers. They're also free of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, antibiotics, growth hormones, or ionizing radiation, which is used to preserve food. While as inorganic or conventionally grown food doesn't follow these strict guidelines. It feels good to have organic foods, but here is the catch. There have not been enough research or scientific evidence which can prove that organic food is safer or more nutritious than its conventionally grown inorganic food. Sure, it might taste better and feel good to eat, but that price tag definitely can sting. With billions of dollars at stake, brands will spend millions on marketing and mass scale producing of such foods. And with the marketing hype, it's hard to know what we are really getting. Our favorite brands might be cutting corners like using growth hormones or antibiotics or even using terms like cage-free or free-range can be misleading. Our seafood, particularly farm-raised seafood, could have some levels of allowable contaminates or mercury levels which are allowed by our regulations. Now the key question is that are they safe for us? and what long-term impact can they cause. It might be safe, but not good for us and may cause us long-term impact to our health and nutrition. There are additional questions like, does organic mean higher nutrition? Maybe organic produce may have higher antioxidants. Does organic mean pesticide free? It just means they use natural pesticide, which could still be harmful and Let's not forget about mislabeling. Always double check those labels. And while local food might seem better, it doesn't guarantee it's organic. And organic isn't always eco-friendly either. It can use more land and resources. And you know, there is also the risk of contamination from things like composted manure. Many health pundits strongly believe that modern age diseases like diabetes and cancer are caused by what we eat and how we live. Because of many such issues with our food, we have also started to see the rise of adoption of plant-based vegan food, which may need its own separate vlog in future. Well, the bottom line is, food is a very personal choice. Make sure you're careful on what you eat and always take a nutritious diet of your lifestyle and life condition. Please feel free to list your food bias and choices in the comment section of YouTube under my vlog. Hope you enjoyed this segment. We will keep bringing newer news topics of your interest in this vlog. Goodbye and have a great week ahead.